Willie Nelson was born in Abbott, Texas on April 29, 1933, the son of Merle Marie Crenshaw and Ira Doyle Nelson. His birth was incorrectly recorded by Dr. F. D. Sims as April 30th. He was named Willie by his cousin Mildred, who also chose Hugh as his middle name in honor of her recently deceased younger brother. Nelson traces his genealogy to the American Revolutionary War, in which his ancestor John Nelson served as a major. His parents moved to Texas from Arkansas in 1929 to look for work. His grandfather William worked as a blacksmith, while his father worked as a mechanic. His mother left soon after he was born, and his father remarried and also moved away leaving Nelson and his sister Bobby to be raised by their grandparents, who taught singing back in Arkansas and started their grandchildren in music. Nelson's grandfather bought him a guitar when he was six and taught him a few chords, and Nelson sang gospel songs in the local church alongside Bobby. He wrote his first song at age seven, and when he was nine he played guitar for local band Bohemian Polka, during the summer, the family picked cotton alongside other Abbott residents. Nelson disliked picking cotton, so he earned money by singing in dance halls, taverns, and honky-tonks from age 13, which he continued through high school. His musical influences were Hank Williams, Bob Wills, Lefty Frizzell, Ray Price, Ernest Tubb, Hank Snow, and Django Reinhardt, Frank Sinatra, and Louis Armstrong. Nelson attended Abbott High School, where he was a halfback on the football team, guard on the basketball team, and shortstop in baseball. He also raised pigs with the future farmers of America. While still at school, he sang and played guitar in the Texans, a band formed by his sister's husband, Bud Fletcher. The band played in honky-tonks and also had a Sunday morning spot at KHBR in Hillsboro, Texas. Meanwhile, Nelson had a short stint as a relief phone operator in Abbott, followed by a job as a tree trimmer for the local electric company, as well as a pawn shop employee. After leaving school in 1950, he joined the United States Air Force. He served for nine months before medically being discharged because of issues with his back. Upon his return in 1952, he married Martha Matthews, and from 1954 to 1956, studied agriculture at Baylor University, where he joined the Tau Kappa Epsilon fraternity until dropping out to pursue a career in music. He worked as a nightclub bouncer, auto house partsman, saddle maker, and tree trimmer. He later joined Johnny Bush's band. Nelson moved with his family to Pleasanton, Texas, where he auditioned for a job as a DJ at KBOP. The owner of the station, Dr. Ben Parker, gave Nelson the job despite his lack of experience working on radio. With the equipment of the station, Nelson made its first two recordings in 1955. The storm has just begun and when I've sung my last Hillbilly song. He recorded the tracks on used tapes and sent the demos to the local label SARG Records, which rejected them. He then had stints working for KDNT in Denton, KCUL, and KCNC in Fort Worth, where he hosted the Western Express, taught Sunday school, and played in nightclubs. He then decided to move to San Diego, but when he was unable to find a job there, he hitchhiked to Portland, Oregon, where his mother lived. When nobody picked him up, he ended up sleeping in a ditch, before hopping a freight train bound for Eugene. A truck driver drove him to the bus station and loaned him $10 for a ticket to reach Portland. Well, that's the end of part one of Willie Nelson an American institution. 
Please like and subscribe. We'll be coming out with additional parts to this series in a few days. And as always, thanks again for watching.